me of a story about a young lady who was in a bar much like this one celebrating her birthday and they her friends asked her what did she want for her birthday she said i want some tattoos but not just any tattoos i want celebrity graphics and not just anyone can do that she says, well, old Pierre, he's right across the street. He's won many awards for his tattoo graphics. And Roadrunner Cloud of Dust later, she's over there going, are you Pierre, the famous tattoo artist? And he said, I am. He said, I want a tattoo of Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise. Can you do that? He said, I can do that. So where would you like these tattoos? So she jumps into his uh, lean back chair lays back, hikes up her dress, parts her knees, and points to the inside of her right thigh and said, I want Brad Pitt right here. She wants, points to the inside of her left thigh and says, I want Tom Cruise right here. And if it doesn't look like him, I'm not paying. He said, I'm not worried, I'm confident in my abilities. No, Pierre notices a couple of things. One is she's not wearing any undergarments. The other thing he notices is she has more of a European appearance than a Brazilian appearance. So he's, well, she's the customer and he gets busy, he starts working. Some hours pass by, he finishes it. She had fallen asleep. So he nudges her awake and says, what do you think? She says, that doesn't look like Brad Pitt. That doesn't look like Tom Cruise, I'm not paying. He said, I thought you might try something like that. We're gonna get another opinion, ma'am. So he goes out to get a, another person to look at these to see if he can identify them and it's late at night. He'd been working for hours and the only person out there was a drunk Irishman. I know that's redundant. <laughs> so then uh, he's coming here, look at these pictures. And the Irishman says, why should I? He says, I'll give you a sixer in it for you. He said, let's go, Mom. So they go in and he's a bit nearsighted like myself. And he gets down up close and personal, looking back and forth, back and forth. And says, and after the longest time, he rises up and says, you know, I don't know who the lads on the end are, but I'm pretty sure the guy in the middle is Willie Nelson. Uh. 